Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews and it took me literally like 40 minutes to get this camera to work. I don't have much luck with cameras guys. Right, so as you've probably guessed, this is the beginning intro for the Halloween Corpse Bride. So leading up to the Corpse Bride, you've seen things that I've bought. I have the costume above me up here and we'll quickly discuss costume, makeup, music and what we did to edit this video. You'll get to see this video at the end. This is my little intro. So all this started on Facebook on um, a page called Spooky YouTubers and this is a page for people with channels that is alt alternative, gothic, metal, anything that's along them kind of lines and I joined that after the moon and stars, Alicia um, she messaged me and said there's a challenge that would be right up your street and um, she tagged me in the post so I got the tag and I was like oh that sounds really interesting the kind of thing I'd like to do so I joined spooky youtubers and it's hosted I think by um, Ashley um, and then the page which is Backbones she was doing this this challenge so it was 31 days of Halloween and on them 31 days there was 31 characters anybody could take part as long as it was 15 seconds preferably with no sound doing something spooky so it could be anywhere it could be indoors outdoors in your bathroom in your toilet <laughs> and there was a list of characters um, quite a lot of characters there there was like Saw there was <coughs> Annabelle, there was the It, Pennywise, Clown, obviously the usual Dracula, Werewolf, Zombie, um, <coughs> Corpse Bride, anything that you could think Day of the Dead. The list goes on forever. So out of everybody on there, I thought I wouldn't mind trying Corpse Bride. So um, in my head, I thought it's going to be completely easy to do. One, I can just go to a second hand shop and grab a wedding dress and just smash it up a bit, you know, rip it up, cut it up, get it dirty, do what you do, get a bit of blue on it, what have you. And then I ordered some face paints from uh, my favourite face paint place, which is Snazaroo, which is usually done for face painting for like children's parties and stuff. But I bought these last year and I absolutely loved them. Not everybody likes Snazaroo, but as you can see, I've kind of dipped into that. So I bought a blue snazzaro because <coughs> I had all these from last year and I used my black, my blue, I used my white, I used like eyeshadow palettes that I had, my own kind of makeup, <coughs> excuse me guys, I'm just coughing and annoying the life out of me. So I had a lot of props already so that was a good thing. I didn't even realise guys that I had this and I could have actually put it on my skin but I wasn't feeling very well on the day that I decided to do it because I've got my operation this week and I was just like, oh God, I've got so much to do. I've got all these videos to do for everybody because I don't want to leave you guys with no content. So I was trying to do that, I'm trying to pack my bag. I had my dad here as well. So I was um, spending some time with my dad, trying to spend some time with my husband and son. It's been a bit of a nightmare kind of um, week trying to cram everything in. So, and I had to wait for things to be delivered. So. In the end, I couldn't find a second-hand dress and I went on to eBay and picked up a zombie bride dress. <coughs> I didn't realise, guys, that that came with a veil. So I'd gone ahead and bought a veil already because I don't know where my wedding veil is and I didn't want to ruin that. Um, so I got the whole outfit and it wasn't exactly the same as Corpse Bride. I mean, that was going to cost me a lot of money. Um, not the kind of money I want to spend on something that's just for 15 seconds long. So I, I just grabbed that dress and it was £8.50. I then went into the pound, pound shop and grabbed a headband with a purple veil on top and purple blue flowers. Grabbed that, bought some blue plastic flowers, bought some black, mixed that in with that. And uh, that was pretty much it. So on the day that I did it, I was coughing extremely bad. <coughs> Sorry guys, real a bit like now. And it's not because I've got a cold or anything. I have uh, a esophageal reflux. I can, I'm not even going into it. But I just couldn't stop coughing. So I said, right, I'm going to do it. So I started off um, by putting, I bought a blue wig as well, guys. 
can't stress that enough. That was five pounds, second hand, perfect. It wasn't the blue that I wanted, but it was blue. So I started off by prepping my hair and putting my wig hat on. Um, and then I put an old t-shirt on, old vest top, sorry. And I started by, by outlining the socket of my eyeballs because I wasn't too sure if I was gonna just do contact lenses and have my eyes open, but I've got sensitive eyes and it was 15 quid for the eye, the, yeah. So as you can imagine, I did it a different way. So I drew the eye sockets on, painted all around that blue. I put blue all the way down into the middle here and then I did the rest black and then just a bit little here. Once I'd done my face blue, I continued with like a cut with some teeth along there. You can't really see it too well, guys, but I do have pictures. And then I painted this bit white and that is where things went wrong because I'm a very stressy person and um, my husband and my dad were telling me that I did the black in the wrong wrong place, it didn't look right. And then I tried covering the black and then the white went like a bluey, grey colour and I was getting stressed out and then the white wouldn't punch over the white. So as you can imagine, I was getting really like, by this time. So I ended up doing it a second time and I still, it was my own fault. I was getting tired. I was I was getting fed up now. It was cold in here. And what I should have done, guys, I should have actually done the black dot over my eyelids and keep my eyes firmly shut down. And I forgot to get my white mascara. I did have some and I, I don't know where I don't, well, I didn't know where I had it. And I was supposed to try and get rid of my black eyelashes because I do have real black eyelashes. <coughs> so that showed through as well. So they were my two big mistakes for the challenge and it is what it is. I did the challenge the best I could and I looked as, as um, a corpse bride as I could. So you will get to see in a minute that challenge. It's There's two versions of it because I, um, I did four versions for Paige. I did one that wasn't so much a crazy kind of one with sound which the music, I'll go through that in a minute. And then I did one without, and then I did a little bit more crazy, insane kind of one with music and one without. So Paige has got four. I've let her choose which one she wants to use. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to use the two with sound on this video, which will be coming up after this. Um, so after I did my costumes, guys, I have a Gothic mirror in my bedroom. I covered that green and I have a green backdrop. So. We kind of did a few shots of me doing some distorted movement with my eyes closed, which was kind of hard with my eyes closed. I was kept feeling really unbalanced and I was like having to turn around and twist around and move my neck and kind of not in a bad way because I didn't want to hurt myself. <coughs> and then we did it looking in the mirror and you'll see the rest. So we did it all with Caden Live, which is the kind of rendering app that I use anyway for my videos. And it took my husband a little bit to do it, maybe about a couple of days to do it because obviously he's got a PhD to do. So when he had time, he went in and did what he did. My father-in-law, which you've seen in my chili challenge, Philip, he um, composed some spooky music. I let him listen to a little bit of the Corpse Bride music and he was like, I don't really want to listen to it because I'll end up copying it because he's a musician. So he scrapped that idea and then he waited till the song was out of his head and then he got stuck in. He did me two pieces, one with some extra sound from his organ and one without. You'll get to hear both, so tell me what you think. This is strictly Philip's own music. It's not copyright. It's nobody else's. It's all my father-in-law's. Paid him a penny, so what can I say? I paid him to do it. So that was how it all went together. If you've got any more questions about how we did certain things in a certain way, pop your comments on below and I'll be ha happy to answer that preferably when I'm back online. So guys, this will be going on on live once I've had my operation. So I will schedule it to go on. So any comments you do do, I may not answer straight away. So bear with me on that one. Um, I do have another challenge that I'm doing this week. I don't want to say too much about it, but I wanted to put a little bit of a go factor in the Halloween challenge. So I am planning to do another one on Wednesday, Forgiving the weather. If the weather's bad, I won't be able to do it because I can't risk getting any kinds of colds and stuff before my operation. But the weather's dry and I'm going to do it at night time. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, guys, so this is it. I'm going to say my goodbyes now. I hope you like what we've done here. 
and happy Halloween guys um, this is going to go on live before Halloween I know that but it's Halloween all through the month now my little jibby jabby dude is giving it some on my desk he just sits and jibby jabbers but it's got a bit dark now so he stops I'm going to get a few more of these because they're brilliant all right guys so enjoy the next bit it's only short I'm going to put a few kind of images in so you can see shots of where we went along so you get the idea then at the end you'll see the video so enjoy guys and I'll um see you soon happy Halloween stay spooky